Hello viewers, welcome to the section, Generative Models in Deep Learning. In this section, we will learn about comparing principal component analysis with a restricted Boltzmann machine, setting up an RBM for Bernoulli distribution, initializing and starting a new TensorFlow session, setting up an RBM for collaborative filtering, setting up a deep belief network, setting up a deep restricted Boltzmann machine, implementing a feed-forward backpropagation neural network, now we move on to the video, Comparing Principal Component Analysis with the Restricted Boltzmann Machine. In this video, we will learn about two widely recommended dimensionality reduction techniques that is Principal Component Analysis and the Restricted Boltzmann Machine. Let's see the functions of Principal Component Analysis and the Restricted Boltzmann Machine. PCA performs a linear transformation on features such that orthogonally adjusted components are generated that are later ordered based on the relative importance of variance capture. RBMs perform nonlinear transformations using connections between visible and hidden units. RBMs are generally based on stochastic distribution. Open the R Studio and you can see that I have already imported the code form R Code Bundle. For our example, we require RBM and ggplot2 packages. The MNIST dataset can be downloaded from the TensorFlow dataset library. The dataset consists of handwritten images of 28 into 28 pixels. It has 55,000 training examples and 10,000 test examples. It can be downloaded from the TensorFlow library using this highlighted block of code. Click on the Run button to add this block of code into our console tab. Extract the train and test dataset. Run a PCA on the train X data. Run an RBM on the train X data. Predict on the train data using the generated models. In the case of the RBM model, generate probabilities. Convert the outcomes into data frames using these two highlighted lines of code. Convert the 10 class binary train Y data frame into a numeric vector. Plot the components generated using PCA. Add line numbers 26 through 29 into our console tab. Now, click on the zoom button to view the result in better visualization. This image shows the outcome of the PCA model. Here, the x-axis represents component 1, and the y-axis represents component 2. Go back to our RStudio. Let's plot the hidden layers generated using PCA. Again, click on the zoom button. This image shows the outcome of the RBM model. Here, the x-axis represents hidden 1 and y-axis represents hidden 2. Next, go back to the RStudio. Let's add line number 36 through 39 into our console tab. Click on the zoom button to see the result in better visualization. This image shows the cumulative variance exampled by the principal components. Go back to our RStudio. Now, Plot the RBM model using this highlighted line of code. Click on the zoom button. This image shows the decrease in the reconstruction training error while generating an RBM using multiple epochs. In this video, we have compared principal component analysis with the restricted Boltzmann machine. 